this is the introductory session on PMI and PMP. And also I'll talk about the changes what has happened in the recent uh, edition of PIMBOP. About myself, without taking much time there, I have close to 13 plus years of uh, experience in business management. So started started my career as a software developer, then uh, grown into the technical lead and then project manager, program manager. I work with the companies like uh, Parametric Technology in Pune, uh, PA, that is PTC. Uh, work with companies like Autodesk, work with Satyam. Yeah, so these are the major companies that I've worked with. I'm a PMP certified and I'm a PMI ACB certified uh, as well. I've been training PMI and uh, PMP and PMI ACP aspirants across Asia for the last four years. Must have trained close to 700 plus PMP aspirants and I have hardly seen anybody not clearing PMP examination. So, so good, good success rate, sir. So PMI is world's largest professional membership association. More than half a million credential holders. It's not a not a profit not for profit organization. About certification, there are six certifications from PMI. The first one is project management professional, one of the most uh, famous uh, certification in project management world. Okay, so about PMP, the first certification from PMI it came in 94, 1984. As a matter of fact, when it started in 84, 1984, early 90s, I remember those days when, when you speak to people and they say, I'm PMP certified, uh, it used to give them a lot of advantage in terms of getting growth in the organization, getting better salary. Now, PMP is hygiene. If you don't have, you cannot grow at all. This is a certification where you need to put a lot of effort. Okay, let's move on. How to apply? I'm sure you might have already become a member of PMI.org. If not, I think that is the first thing you should do. For becoming a member, you need to pay $129. Once you complete your application, PMI within five business days validates whether you're eligible for the examination or not. So it would make sense for you to become a member because you will get ethically the PMBOK version five. You can take the exam any day for one year. That, so that is eligible for one year. Once you have attended the 35 hours of contact session, you can fill your application form. This is compulsory that you attend your 35 hours of contact session. PMP requirements, you are supposed to have four years of bachelor's degree. If you're not four years past bachelor's degree, you need to have, uh, we'll talk about that exactly. The four years bachelor's degree, plus close to 4,500 hours of experiencing so these are the five areas where the examination questions would be spread over the five areas as i mentioned initiation initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing these are the five areas out of these 200 questions there are 25 questions which will not be marked what does it mean is that you will be evaluated based out 175 unfortunately you would not be aware which 25 questions which will not be marked so your goal is to Correct those 25 questions as well. Out of 175, if you score close to 106, you will you will clear the PMP exam. Yes, this is what the controversial topic. Your result, how the result will look like. So, results are defined in the scale is defined in three three level scale. This is, but in in general, if you see, for example, if you have done more than 80 percent, 80 percent, the scale could be something like this. If more than 85%, you could be proficient. If you are between 50 to 85%, you could be in a moderately proficient group. And below proficient could be 50%, less than 50%. Your result will look like this. Initiation, moderately proficient. Planning, below proficient. Execution, proficient. Monitoring, moderate proficient. Closing, proficient. And overall, pass or fail. Once you are PMP certified, you can continue to keep your certificate provided you collect 60 PDUs. PDUs is professional development units, which is extremely important for, uh, and these professional development units can be collected by attending national conferences, some of the webinars which are free. If you attend those sessions, you'll get one, one webinar, so one uh, PDUs. So you need to collect 60 PDUs in three years. PMBOK is uh, project body, management body of knowledge uh, founded by PMI. And the latest edition of PMBOK is PMBOK 5. Until the PIMBOK 4 used to have 9 knowledge areas. Now in PIMBOK 5, we have 10 knowledge areas. So what we have done is, all processes in monitoring and control 
they have renamed to control starting with control they have named it so well that you don't have to remember the names so it's it's much easier for pmp aspirants to understand the processes and understand the name of the processes you should put a lot of time in reading pmbok by at least 2 to 3 times before your examination at least 2 to 3 times before examination which is which is the pmi way of doing things so for example never do gold plating never go outside what is the scope of the project so there are certain things which you need to unlearn many things you need to unlearn the focus of pmi is project not customer okay very important point second point understand how project are conceptualized understand why a specific input is there why a specific tools and techniques are there and what the output should be so that is what exactly the focus would be now as i mentioned there are 10 knowledge areas all the knowledge areas are important don't take pmp examination lightly it requires attend this 35 hours of contact sessions wherever you do seriously prepare well for at least 2 to 3 hours for next 30 to 45 days after the session is over first 15 to 20 questions could be very difficult be calm this is a 4 hour examination so you have to make yourself comfortable ensure that you have done enough practice on problems related to evm evm is nothing but earned value management forecasting that is again related to cost management critical path is related to time management you have something called float calculations pta pta i think you might not have heard pta is nothing but point of total assumption which is related to procurement management communication channels and there's something called emv emv is expected monetary value don't take it lightly and don't miss the session our session would consists of best from all the books the first day normally is a very light day where uh, i would be covering introduction to the project and integration management and then uh, we move into scope management one day then uh, time management then schedule management then cost management and then we will come into uh, your quality management then hr and communication would be done in one day then we will be doing procurement management one day and uh, we will be doing risk and uh, stakeholder management in one day uh, study material once you enroll yes you will get the study material there will be some some mock examination for the practice sure i will be posting some small small quizzes maybe five question 10 questions very simple questions you can reach me on visiq i think you have my details feel free to reach out so that's about uh, today's session guys thank you for your time